what, what the lady's is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? The winner of a Powerball jackpot of $560 million that had gone unclaimed for two months because of a legal battle for privacy can remain anonymous, according to a New Hampshire court. This is a ruling that was made on Monday. The New Hampshire Lottery Commission requires that winners write their name, phone number, and address on the back of winning tickets. The woman who won the ticket realized quickly after she did so that that was a huge mistake. So she sued to remain anonymous. Incredible. Yeah. Is that such a big deal to y'all? Like if you won the lottery, like you hit, I mean, you hit it big. If you won it all, would you care if everybody knew? Or would you try to remain anonymous? You try to keep it to yourself. I know some of y'all, y'all move out of state real quick. Boy, y'all shut the whole thing down. Wouldn't even tell your family. Some of y'all wouldn't even tell your spouses. You just catch out. I'd like to know what you think about this. To remain anonymous or not. This woman, uh, she lives in a town called Mary Mac. <laughs> First thing I heard when I heard that name, Mary Mac. I never heard, had heard the name Mary Mac, New Hampshire, until today. But it reminded me of that old song, Mary Mac, 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 all dressed in black, black. See, I don't know nothing about that. Boy, that's that old school. Y'all don't know nothing about that, that free plan. But she wants to remain anonymous. She wants to remain a member of the community without giving up her privacy. And she wants to still feel safe and protected in the community. She don't want people to judge her. Let me tell you something. When you win that kind of money, there is no way you can remain anonymous. People are going to know. Now, she's already donated $250,000 to a, a women's organization. So she's already started rolling out the money before they uh, decided whether or not that she could remain anonymous, I believe. Well, that really don't make sense. So it must have been shortly after she had uh, won the decision. But I can see her family tree growing big time. Boy, them relatives and old friends are about to come out of the woodworks. But you got to be careful when you win those lotteries, though, man. I saw one special where this guy had won the lottery and this woman befriended him and he trusted her enough to allow her to handle his finances. And she figured out a way to swindle him out of his home. He had like a, uh, what was it, a million dollar home or a half a million dollar home? She swindled him out of, she had nothing. She swindled him out of the home, then got him for like a million dollars or something like that of, of the money. Then she killed him to get the rest. So, you know, people do real strange things for money, man. So y'all got to be real, real careful with that. But I really want to know how y'all feel about this, man. Is it such a big deal? Or would you like put it in their face? Like, <laughs> like let everybody know what time it is. Like, here you go. Like, bam, bam. I can't wait to stun on these fools. Bam, bam. I can see where old girl is coming from, though. She wants to be a part of the community and not be targeted by the community. I get that. But man, I wouldn't give a damn. I got 99 problems, but cashing a $560 million winning lottery ticket ain't one. No more talk. What the ladies talking about? <laughs>